EA Play hits Game Pass on PC, and it's fantastic. We've got like 60 games uh, now on PC included with our Game Pass subscription. We have access to trials like for FIFA here, uh, but I did run into some bugs and issues getting this set up, and I want to kind of go over those that might help you out here in this video. Now, Xbox did put out a great video showing you step-by-step -step instructions of how to get logged in with the Xbox app, uh, install all the games, do all that kind of stuff, and I go through these steps, but... I did run into some issues. I didn't have to account link. My account just automatically linked, um, and I had not done anything with that before, so uh, that was interesting. Maybe because of my console. Uh, I'm not sure because I am logged into the same accounts there. So anyways, let's jump into how this went for me getting this set up for EA on PC. So here we are in the Xbox app. And you go in here, you can click see all games for the EA Play section. And then this does work in tandem with the EA desktop app. It's an app that's in beta. It is a pretty buggy app. And I think that's what some of the issues were here. So I had it installed, but I uninstalled it so I, so I could show you here uh, when you just click to install the app right from the Xbox spot right here. And you'll be able to get that app installed. They have the whole list of games sitting here inside of Game Pass. But like I said, I did have some issues after I got past this part luckily the account linking was easy that just automatically worked like i said i think because i'm already linked up on my console that when i uh, was signed into the two same accounts on pc it just automatically had that linked up and working but for you when you go to install a game you may have to just link your game pass account uh one time with ea if you haven't done so already so that's installing and like i said we have one trial sitting here right now it's for fifa 21 uh which i installed here and also mass effect i think i put on here and a couple of other games well i'll show you those quirks so once you get that installed we gotta do a quick restart so we'll do that all right we're restarted we're back in now you can see here you can just click to explore the app the ea desktop app and like I said, if you're playing a game, uh, both of these are always going to be open. It's kind of like uh, how it works if you buy a, uh, a game on Steam that's from EA or whatever. You got to have both launchers open. So I'll go in here and click install. And what's going to happen is that's going to start the install through the EA desktop app. You'll also be able to see the progress over on the Xbox app. But this is where I had some issues. Um, this game does wind up disappearing and coming back and uh, a couple things like that. So I'll show you as we go here so that you don't panic if you're having trouble getting everything to work properly and set up. By the time I was done here, it was working fine. But I definitely ran into some strange things here along the way. So we'll click download. We'll get that going. It won't take very long for these downloads to happen. No, we don't want to do any surveys right now. All right, so we've got FIFA downloading, no big hiccups yet. We've installed, we have Xbox app here. We've got the EA desktop app here. We're signed in, our accounts are now linked together. And now we're downloading the 10 hour trial for FIFA 21. So, so far, all good. But let's go and see what else we've got going on here. So I wanna show you in settings, you can see here your membership. So EA Play with Game Pass. So it'll show your membership just like that inside of your account. And if you want to manage that, it tells you, of course, you need to go to your Microsoft account and manage that through Game Pass. So very easy to do. All right, so our downloads are moving along right here. We're going to skip through a lot of this here in just a minute because I want to show you where a couple of the hiccups happen. So while that's happening, I go back into the games right here and you can see nothing showing up on the left hand side like it was um, <laughs> the game just kind of disappeared for for a little while and what I did was I went in here and I wanted to download the original Mass Effect anyway so I thought if I kick off another download maybe it will relink up and that's actually kind of what happened here so I'm gonna click install same thing it's gonna open up through the EA app you see it show up over there on the right hand side we're getting ready to get everything installed here I'm still wondering to myself what the heck happened to FIFA <laughs> Um, so you can see here preparing well, that's because the EA desktop app needs to do everything. So it's sitting here preparing. It says no installed games, even though I know FIFA's installed. It says zero up there. And now we're here ready finally to um, deal with our download options for Mass Effect. So that preparing won't change in your Xbox app until we click next down here. So it, people like me that are familiar with how PC apps and all this works, we're used to doing this kind of stuff in tandem and linking apps and doing all this annoying stuff. But a lot of you from console may not be, or you're jumping into this for the first time. And it can seem really strange hopping back and forth between two apps and having them work in tandem together. But this is just how it works. Look, as soon as I click that, 
FIFA showed back up, and it's in the queue, even though we've already completely installed it. But it does say I do have one game installed at the top, so it does know that it's there. Now, that, by the end of this download, that will also fix itself to where FIFA will leave the queue and both games will be installed. So if you're having these kinds of quirks or issues, it seems to be able to work itself out. Like I said, the beta EA app has been really buggy since it released. So I'm not really surprised here with these two apps working together. We're getting a few issues here and there, but... If you're having these kinds of issues, it's not game breaking. All the games work. It's just sometimes they're hidden. They're not showing up, but it seems to work itself out here. So I'm going to move us forward just a little bit. You can see the little timer on FIFA. That's indicating that's a 10 hour trial. And now you can see FIFA has left the queue and now it's just in the installed games section. So everything eventually kind of kind of caught up there. So now what's happening is you'll see that. Uh, preparing or the installing on the Xbox app, that means it's still finalizing over on the EA app. And those of us that have used EA Origins for a long time know sometimes this finalizing stage could take a while. And if you're just looking at the Xbox app, you may think it's frozen or something and not installing, and that's not the case. Also, you can see there uh, FIFA was grayed out. I couldn't click play. However, I actually can play and, and open a game. Very strange bug there as well. So look, I restarted the app and the games are gone again. They won't show up over here once again, um, so I'm stuck looking around to see if the games will pop up, and they wouldn't. The games don't pop up again. I'll show you when we get there, but they don't pop up again until I restart. So I clicked on a few things to try to get it to show up. So if you open your Xbox app and your games aren't showing up there, don't reinstall them. They're not gone. It's, it's a bug where they're not showing up. And it's tricky. So, and even if you go in and click on the game you installed, it won't say play. It says install. Um, and if you were to click install, it'll just error you and give you a problem because number one, the game's already installed <laughs> and it's just, it's, it's buggy. So nothing is showing up. So you may close everything out and go to play a game and you wind up with this situation where it just doesn't seem to want to work. You can go into the EA play app, the desktop app and actually launch the game from there, even if it's not working on the xbox part so you see here i could click and i could play so if this happens to you as well and they just won't show up on the xbox app they are installed and you can actually click play there i'll show you see the error i was talking about if i did happen to click install again or anything which i knew uh, wasn't going to work because it is already there but that's how you could do it if you wanted to you can launch it from there now i restarted the pc i launched everything again and what do you know? The games showed up just fine over here on the left-hand side. Good to go. I can click them. I can launch them. Uh, I'll go in here and show you. They show play now instead of installed. So after a full restart, after going through all these steps and stages, uh, they were showing up properly. And I tried a couple more restarts. I loaded the games a few times and everything happened to work for now. So a little bit quirky, but we got through it and everything is working. I'm super excited to see EA on PC for Game Pass. Game Pass is super, super valuable. I absolutely love it. One of the best values in gaming, and they have been on fire recently. Xbox and Game Pass. Uh, absolutely awesome and amazing. I'll be trying the FIFA 21 10 hour trial for a little while here on PC. This game. It's pretty gorgeous almost anywhere that you play it, uh, but it's really gorgeous on PC, especially with an unlocked frame rate. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Really appreciate, appreciate you coming to watch, and I'll see you in the next one. Well, it's a toss of a coin for me. It's a really big night for everybody. All that hard work leading up to pre-season training, going through your domestic league, playing Champions League on and off, the winter break, all of that culminates in tonight very very big night for everybody concerned supporters but most so the players they have to stay focused play the game not the occasion not what he was intending bad pass Roberto Firmino Fabinho now Ronaldo he made it look simple really and a Liverpool throw in forthcoming. Mane. And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. An effective challenge. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger.